Well, hello there. This is a um, this is actually a July morning for the June tape. <laughs> it's uh, actually July the fifth, day after New Year's, <laughs> or not New Year's Day after Fourth uh, of July. And um, the reason you're getting the tape so late this time is uh, <clears throat> it's not that it's late at all. It's just that I've been on the road for so long. This is my first chance since I've gotten home. I've only had about three days, four days since I've gotten home. So it's it's sort of just getting adjusted and reestablished, and I really didn't want to send out a tape where I'd just been out on the road running and pushing and hustling and then just, you know, showing up back at home and uh, and then just jamming some tape out because it had to get out. That's not how it works for me. So I waited till today, and I'm, I'm excited about today. And I'm up here on top of the mountain once again. Beautiful, serene. In the background, uh, you can hear the fan of the car running. But the mountain is once again as beautiful as ever. She's been um, set upon by the summer turistos. But she's as magnificent as ever. Today, we're going to talk about oh, a couple different things. I'd like to talk about group consciousness, which uh, seems to be... Uh, one of the things that we're heading for it's sort of like when we had talked about consciousness in the last workshops we talked about all the different states uh, that there were sort of like Cleopatra and Harakan Baba and Saint Germain we have all these different states of consciousness out there and if you've taken a workshop within the last year or so you've heard all of this material so this isn't something that is new and as a group what we've what we've really done for those of us who have who have stuck with the material and if you look all of us have even those who have gone off and done something else the energy of what was taught at those workshops is still inside of you and when you will need it it will come forth if you choose you see it all comes down to your choice once again you all knew that it's uh do you choose to grow do you choose to participate now, as a group, I've taught, oh, certain ways, certain formats. I've taught you to be God. I've taught you, hopefully, <laughs> to start expressing yourself as that divine aspect, to see what it is that you are really capable of, of doing. If you've been noticing, um, your clairvoyance has been uh, starting to happen. You will see more uh, salt and pepper specks at night. You will begin to notice that more things that you just casually stay, say are starting to come true. As a group, um, we were taught, even though we were taught individually, we were taught as a group, we were taught that there were so many people on this planet that were waking up a little um, sooner than others. We were given insights that we <coughs> could be those, those very people. We all hold that thought with inside of ourselves, along with several of the other thoughts that we have in common. And whether we can comprehend it or not, some of us are starting to move into that direction of that group energy. Now, this group energy is is a very powerful aspect. It's something that I've never really touched on because my attitude was to really get you excited towards your divineness, that you are God, that you don't need to follow anybody, that you in yourself are more than enough. You of yourself are capable of anything. And now the free bonus is, is that there are those of us all within the same framework. There are those of us who are all falling into these same categories. We are becoming um, like that group. We have put our energy to the fact that we're locked up uh, on this planet to do one specific aspect, to do one specific job. That job is to serve the Godhead. In any way, shape, or form, we can put that together. And to serve God, I mean, what a refined, beautiful thing to do. And as we serve this totality that is in ourselves and around us, we also serve others who are also God. 
who are like unto the thing that we pray to who just have different ideas different formulated thoughts than we do perhaps maybe don't worship it as totally as we do and yet we all fall within that category of loving and worshiping that God that is what our uh, our focus is basically upon we look at the focus sometimes indirectly we look at that focus uh, as being onto ourselves learning how to love ourselves learning how to focus our attention into ourselves that God ourself by making our life a little easier by making our life a little happier by making our life uh, less judgmental by making our life um, just a little more understandable and this is how we also serve our God because we serve ourselves through that totality now as a group there is that energy just like Cleopatra energy there is that 144,000 group energy and <clears throat> it is an energy that is fed by all people on on this planet uh, Christians uh, Mohammed uh, Buddhist Hindu Tibetan uh, you name it they're all out there and they all know about that grouping now we have chosen to plug into this group basically we've taken a course that's enhanced that thing with inside of ourselves to see ourselves a little clearer not to give ourselves some important ego personality uh, scenario but to encourage us to look deeper inside of ourselves to say hey you know maybe I can't really feel my godness who really knows if I'm in this group but I'm going towards this energy and as you do within that group there's an energy that supports us that keeps us moving up it does it just keeps moving us along and we grow we we push we we search within ourselves and then the beauty of the group is is that our consciousness is joined by those others who are searching in the same way we are now when we get into group consciousness um, we become parts of this group and we become different aspects of it in totality in other words you all heard the money tape uh, and I'm in you should have all been receiving letters that back up that material and I'm sure it's dawned on you now that it's that hey it's twenty eight dollars we're not out pushing anybody's money button we're out checking out the wholeness checking out um, the money aspect for all of us see in the group it was one of the things that we all appear to not all <clears throat> is one of those things that uh, several of us appear to be working on and some of us are not working on it because we do have the money scenario solved those in the group who have the money scenario solved have been slowly adding their energy to our group and it has been helping us solve our money issue you know as a group several of us have a money issue several of us do not those that do are all working together as a oneness to get it handled that's why I had to send a $28 in you see we're saying yes we're in support of the whole and by putting out our thoughts and our prayers and money for some of us we are joining into this group to become supportive of this totality not that whoa then is a short money and we've got to help them out yada 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 no 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 that is in an aspect true uh, because I chose to go to you as part of that whole uh, I've chose to go to part of the whole in many other ways besides the group also to bring in more energy to support this group as one of us gets it within this money Avenue and I guess that a lot of people do look to me because I'm the master in that aspect as a lot of us look to me you should be looking to you as Dennis I have reached out to more than just the group to support I've reached out to the total universe for the support and the group has magnificently supported us as has the whole which brings me to the truth that I have been teaching correctly the whole will support you when you need it it hasn't supported us yet in a financial aspect uh, in other words I haven't pulled in the full forty some thousand dollars that I'm missing but 
the universe has given me other avenues to use that in turn will develop towards that extra money that we were looking for now it's not just Dennis that is looking for the support on the planet it's all of us that are looking for the support on the planet it's those of us in this group 144,000 saying hey is the support really there and I'll tell you what it really is financially if one of us starts to get it and then several of us start to get it and I start putting it together at this end as masters as that group of the 144,000 see eventually the money scenario in this group is going to click for us and we will all have our mastery down we just look to the hole the hole supports us we don't have to worry about how am I gonna get this how am I gonna get that how am I gonna pay for this how am I gonna influence that we're going to start to see that we're growing as gods we're growing as beings that are capable of manifesting these things when we want we do not have to turn into fear and fill that group consciousness with fear fear of how are we going to get this how are we going to get that there is no fear coming from me as that state of consciousness there's concern as Dennis the personality but as the master it's sort of like we have to turn into that master that we all are look back have we always made it yeah we've always pulled it out some way shape or form then we must count on that we must turn to that we must support the group with that particular energy this group that we fit in we're gonna grow each other like we never have before because we can see the divine in this group we can see the divine within our attitude we know that <clears throat> as we support ourselves the state of consciousness that supports us totally is supporting ourselves and the group and the money ha money issue will be handled it is like any other issue it is like the reason that I'm sticking with money in this particular moment is a lot of people sent back very strong messages saying wow Dennis you know we're all in this money scenario we're all trying to get this we're all um, wondering how this money thing is going to come together well let's not worry about it it's coming together it in itself is manifesting into this group and soon this group will not have money problems this group will function and work as a whole it will not function from fear uh, I've been working very diligently and not allowing the fear to come into the group as a whole I've been working love to come into the group as a whole I've been working to get panic out of the group as a whole so that oh wow we're falling apart at headquarters No, we're not falling apart at headquarters we're growing we're not going under that's only one of the small aspects of the totality I've never learned to judge uh, moment to moment that's why I don't judge see because when you look at the whole picture you look at a picture and you go wow this particular frame that I'm in here and now is a very unpleasant picture and sometimes as our juices get plugged into that picture we get caught in that picture and we go this is the only picture that there is and this is all that we can see that's not true you see we can look out and we can see the totality as long as we're not doing judgment as long as we're going hey this is going to work out and we start putting this energy into the group that's what the group is going to get in return and each of us strengthens the other each of us strengthens the other this is a group effort for the group consciousness this is not some individualized thing each one of us is banging our heads against some sort of financial wall that's not it at all we are going to become majorly successful because we are gods we are here to demonstrate the perfect flow of the universe and by taking on one issue at a time first money then this then that then anger then jealousy this group is going to come out supporting itself in a way unlike anything else it's going to be solid we're going to have thoughts of beauty the divine aspect of God coming here serving the planet no more money problems no even money hang-ups at all the flow of a beautiful divine thought going through us all of the time and as these divine thoughts go through us all the time it's um it's encouraging to feel us grow 
you know, I, I look out, and <clears throat> in every tape that I do, I like to become very inspired. Uh, I want to reach out. I want to grab you. I want to. I want to. I want to get right into your essence, and I want to say, "Hey, this is all happening. This is all working. We can do this." Yes, we're individuals. Yes, we're God. Yes, we're manifesting our own creations, and yes, we're also working as a group. There are one hundred and forty-four thousand, and yourself that are all working to their very, very best capacity. And if you take a good look, we're all using and dealing with the same material. And I also look and I find that in that group, one of us has got each piece of the material handled. And I also notice that those little tiny pieces are starting to grow in the state of consciousness. When I go to sleep at night, you know, most of you know that I still work at night and I, and I don't really quit. You go out into that group consciousness of us and and you go, oh, wow, here's a little bit of anger that's coming up. Here's a little bit of jealousy that's coming up. We don't really need this in the group anymore. Let's do this. Let's change this. And then you work in your dream state, and you work to make this a better aspect for all of us. So you remember how I used to talk about each of us is sick, or each one of us has a major problem. And as we clean that major problem up, we take that major problem away from the planet. It's the same thing with the group consciousness that we're using. It's sort of like um, as we become more positive, as we become more fruitful, as we become more financially wealthy, as we become more uh, loving to each other, as we begin to see the God more clearly in each, other, in each one of us, we begin to realize that um, group is is starting to grow with love and caring and not the negative affirmations that a lot of us in the past have been putting out but the very very positive affirmations that we have been putting out yes we're, divi we're divine beings of light yes we're divine beings of love yes we're really here to serve the whole yes man is God studying the creation of itself and as we get together in our support groups and we talk about God we are raising this group consciousness of the 144 and it is raising us out out of the old programs of oh I'm broke oh I'm sick oh I don't know if I can make it oh I'm not good enough oh I don't have time for this oh it sounds good but maybe another time oh am I really worthy oh geez I'd like to but I don't have the time now oh it would work for somebody else better but not for me we're getting rid of all of those O's. We don't have to do that kind of stuff anymore. We're filling that group with, hey, wow, guess what? The money thing is getting solved. Oh, wow, guess what? There's plenty of fine things around for me. Oh, wow, guess what? I just feel so loving about myself. Oh, wow, guess what? As I begin to be loving, things start going my way. Wow, I didn't know that that the group consciousness was actually going to help me be a loving person. Oh, wow, I didn't know that because everybody who started loving themselves in the group, that was going to rub off on me. Oh, wow, I can start to feel that love starting to come down and... Oh, wow, I think it's a wonderful thing to be in this state of consciousness. It's, it's like a St. Germain consciousness, or a Harakan Baba, or a great Kermapa, or the great Katumi, or all the great masters. It's like being in their consciousness. They're not fretting. They're not concerned. They're not worried. They're in a state of consciousness that exudes divinity. We're in a state of consciousness that it's just learning how to build its divinity. Right now it's still influenced by the physical plane. But as a group, we're taking those issues one by one and we're dissolving them. We are becoming strong as a whole. By all of you out there supporting me in whatever way, shape, or form that you can. And, and please, you know, if it's a financial thing that you can really help, if you're having financial problems, send the headquarters $28 and demonstrate to yourself that the whole is really being supportive and you will begin to notice that the whole starts supporting you back not because you sent me twenty eight dollars but because you supported the whole and in return the money is going to come back to you because you supported the whole as it asked you're that whole group it will support you when you ask you see 
this is what we're doing we're trying to get a group consciousness that is going to be very supportive I mean if we're all supposed to know in the end where to go stand and what to do and how to be free don't you think we should be starting to practice that now as each one of us gets a final handle on our money problem we put that successful triumph into our group consciousness and we have more successful triumphs starting to happen now than all of these old defeats that we've been lingering in with so far the group has has really come through it's contributed something like about um, eight thousand dollars or nine thousand dollars that's amazing you know because out of this fifteen hundred that I sent tapes everybody has to send twenty eight hundred dollars uh, twenty eight dollars in order to really make the whole thing work and so far yeah a lot of them have sent a lot of them have supported sure there's been several thousand dollar checks and, and that kind of brought the total around but even if you didn't send money I know that in your consciousness you sent the love you sent the support you sent that helpful thing if you haven't sent the money just do it as a gesture that's really all it really is that's why I use 28 to support you back see as this company pulls together and starts manifesting prosperity which is part of the 144 all of us are going to start manifesting pos prosperity because we all brought belong to that I've been really doing the tons of affirmations of um, I am now receiving uh, abundance and prosperity from all of the dimensions and all of the dimensions are giving to me I am now receiving abundance and prosperity from all of the dimensions and all of the dimensions are giving to me I am now receiving abundance and prosperity from all of the dimensions and all of the dimensions are giving to me you see I'm praying to the totality to God to the divine aspect which is beyond money which is beyond caring which is beyond even love and I say my affirmations and I say hey I am complete and I whole and I am whole and I am total and totality supports me back now I know that that affirmation is working for all of us all of us in our totality that's just not for Dennis sucking in totality and and pulling in finances I know that we love God I know that we serve God that's serving all of the dimensions and they in turn serve us by just giving us uh, their love which happens to be a form of money it happens to be a form of food it happens to be a form of um, mental relief it happens to be a form of less stress you see as all of these dimensions love God that beauty of love just falls down and and gives to us more of a physical understanding and how to go out and put ourselves together as long as we are worshiping and serving that God that we are inside the universe will serve us back it's a matter of learning how to trust it the tape that I sent out was a major act of trust I needed to look out and see can I trust myself can I trust us as a group are we really willing to put in that extra little bit and grow in a totality are we really going to get in there and serve something of the unknown that we don't really know that's what it all really comes down to just serving God serving God loving yourself your God are you happy start being happy is money something that is not making you happy and start asking God to serve you by allowing the abundance to come into your life allowing the prosperity to come into your life it may not come as money right off the bat it just may come as people loving you as people caring for you as people showing that they're really there for you by giving you a helping hand by I mean by you giving to me I am giving back in such ways that you know people go, well yeah he's not sending money back or he's not doing this back but hey my giving is to God and that overflow gives to all beings who are sharing and giving to God and that's what it comes down to it's like there's Dennis who is hearing this thing say money and there's the divinity saying keep saying it because within that there's that higher recognition that that money is just God that money is just totality that food is just God that fear is also God and it's a part that we have inside of us and it's a part that God would like us to conquer and as we conquer this fear we begin to realize that there is more of God open up to us see fear is limiting 
I've discovered that things that are of a dense aspect hold and hinder us from having those lighter aspects. I found that as we lighten ourselves up and, and get off the issues, you know, even if you can say, hey, yeah, I got a money issue, but I'm just going to lighten up and I'm just going to let it resolve itself because I'm giving to God and I'm giving with love and with peace and it's honest and it's sincere and I know that God is going to give back to me. And slowly, what will happen is your fear of these issues that frighten you will begin to leave you. And as that fear begins to leave you, you will begin to be enhanced with perhaps the actual money aspect coming into your life because fear isn't pushing it away anymore. You see, fear is God also. We see that fear in ourselves. We recognize it in ourselves. And now it's time to just let that fear go and accept the divine aspect. See, for me, I just finally had to let the fear go. I had to say, hey, look, Dennis, you're just, just this far in the hole, and the universe